when approaching a client as a freelancer, if that client is hopefully going to be a potential client to you, it's always best to think like that client. What do I mean by that? Stay tuned. Hello, my name is Peter Fisher. I'm a freelance web and mobile applications developer. Here on the HowToCodeWell.net YouTube channel, we talk about all sorts of things on the Friday shows, including web development, freelance. And on the Tuesday show, we have tutorials all about programming, be it web development, be it about Linux and all of that kind of stuff. Today and for the rest of April, we are going to be focusing specifically on on freelance and how to gain a client when you are becoming a freelancer. Today we are going to centre our discussion around thinking like a client. What do I mean by that? Well, different clients will have different requirements and different priorities and those requirements or priorities are going to be totally different from yours. So for example, if they deal with a lot of stock then they're going to be more concerned with stock management and efficiency. If they are, for instance, a florist, then they're going to be more concerned with uh, marketing their business before, say, Valentine's Day. If they're an e-commerce shop, they're going to have different concerns around different seasonal times of the year. So it's always good to think about that when you're building a quote or when you're proposing uh, some work for a potential client. It's also very good to think about those kind of things when you're advertising, you're promoting your business, because then you can start funneling down a niche. You can stay, say, well, you know, I want to focus on florists before Valentine's Day. I want to focus on e-commerce shops that sell children's toys before Christmas. That kind of sort of mentality, that kind of thinking. Think about what concerns your clients have and then see if you can promote your business to suit and fix their needs. Okay. So for instance, um, e-commerce shops, they will have a lot of pressure around, say, uh, July, August, September for Christmas. All right. And that does sound a little bit early, that sounds like it's sort of like midway through the summer. But believe you me, they're going to be thinking about Christmas when the normal customers aren't thinking about Christmas. Same with Easter, same with Valentine's Day, same with Mother's Day, right? Same with same with Father's Day. They're going to be planning those kind of things months before. And what you can do is think about what it is that they are concerned about and see if you can tailor your your freelance work around the solution for for their problems, for their issues. So, for example, if it's a wine merchant, they might be concerned with stock management. How much stock of wine do they have? Now, once you start thinking about this, you start tailoring your marketing and your copy to suit that, that kind of uh, line of thinking. So you want to be coming up with answers that answer the questions that those uh, clients will have. OK, so they'll be looking at ways in which to make their life easier. And if you can provide a solution that helps them along the way, then then they're more than likely going to you. Try not to market yourself as just a generic web designer. OK, if you can focus on a specialism, don't just market yourself as a web designer or, or a web developer, um, because, you know, you can just throw a stone and you'll hit one of those. So when you do come to market yourself to these potential clients, don't just carpet bomb your clients with just generic text and copy about how much of a good web designer or developer you are. Target their needs. You know, think about what it is that they're after. Try and answer their questions and then send all the marketing material over to them uh, when they are potentially going to be asking those questions. So, you know, in those months before Christmas, in those months before Easter and Valentine's Day and so forth. Now, I'm not saying that you should tailor your marketing to specifically one specialism. Oh, no. You know, there's there's more than one season in a year and therefore there is more than one concern that a client will have. So whether you target Halloween, whether you target, you know, Christmas, that kind of thing. But you want to be tailoring your marketing around those kind of events, those temporal events that happen during the year that are a concern for your potential clients. Essentially, what you need to do is start thinking a little outside of the box 
you need to start asking the questions that your clients are going to ask. And you, you don't want to come across as just the generic web developer, the generic web designer who can just generically build you something. You want to show that you are actually concerned about the client's concerns and you have provided a solution to that that kind of thing, that kind of approach, that kind of way of thinking. So let's say, for example, it's coming up to Christmas and you want to focus specifically on e-commerce shops, you know, the Black Friday sales and all of that kind of stuff. They're going to be concerned about stock. They're going to be concerned about uh, tracking codes, writing newsletters, that kind of thing, you know, marketing their business. And you know, I get a lot of people ask me to do things on their site, even if it is just changing the theme around Christmas, right? Because they they want to make it a little bit more jazzy be around Christmas or they want to have it, you know, it doesn't have to be Christmas. It could be Easter. They could have an Easter theme. So not only are you changing the website, you could be changing, say, their email marketing, that kind of stuff. And of course, not only are your clients going to be concerned with, moving stock or you know selling or marketing that kind of stuff but they're also going to be concerned about the things coming through maybe government leg legislation and all of that kind of stuff so i'm talking here about gdpr i'm talking about getting um ssl certificates i'm talking about maintenance and backup and security and all of that other bits and pieces that you might be able to provide to them so, you know, you, you want to be addressing those kind of needs. But before you address the needs, you need to identify what are the potential needs that your clients have and then see if you can tailor your marketing, tailor your promotion around that kind of stuff as well. Now, it is tricky. You have to get not only the wording right, the marketing right, but you also have to get the timing right because there's no point in in uh, promoting your solution to a, a Christmas stock control issue that someone might be having when it's not even close to Christmas, when it's in January, for instance. So you do have to sort of navigate your way through this. And there are temporal points of the year that different clients that have different concerns and different responsibilities are going to be more more of a priority to them. And so you can tailor yourself to uh, support the client. So when you are marketing yourself, just make sure that you're you're actually talking about the stuff that the client cares about. OK, don't just come out as a generic web developer or, or, or a generic web designer, like I've said. If you found this useful, then do show your appreciation. Give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to pick up the next web chats. We're focusing this month in April all about freelance. So do subscribe to pick them up as well as all the tutorials that I do throughout the week. Thank you ever so much. Happy coding, everyone. See you again soon. Cheers. Bye.